Hi, my name is Trevor Bergfell with the EMU Corporation. I'm here to talk to you today about the basics of a process called electrowinning. Electrowinning is one of the oldest electrolytic processes known. It was actually invented in 1807 by the English chemist Sir Humphrey Davy. Uh, it wasn't until 70 years later that the process was actually commercialized in an electro refinery in the United States. Electrowinning is what is known as an electrolytic process because it involves several components. It requires electrodes, a cathode or an anode, it requires uh, an electrolyte, and it requires a power source uh, to supply the DC voltage. Uh, now an electrolyte is really just uh, a conductive solution that's formed by dissolving uh, positively and negatively charged ions. Now this could be for example copper and sulfate, it could be uh, silver and nitrate, uh, nickel sulfate, uh, there's many examples. So when a voltage is applied uh, the, to the solution, the positively charged cations move towards the cathode and the negatively charged ions, uh, the anions, move towards the anode. Now the relative tendency of a metal to plate onto the cathode surface depends on its reductive potential. Uh, and that's uh, the place on it, the electrochemical series. So the electrochemical series is really just a list of the reduction potentials of the metals uh, and their relative position relative to the hydrogen electrode. The hydrogen electrode is defined arbitrarily as zero. So metals that are more willing to accept electrons uh, have a more positive reduction potential and are more easily plated and what we consider more noble. Uh, metals that are more willing to lose electrons uh, have a more reductive or re uh, a more negative reduction potential and are less easily plated. And they're what we would call more reactive. So metals like gold, silver, copper uh, have more positive reduction potentials and are more easily plated. Whereas metals like uh, lithium and zinc have more negative reduction potentials and are considered more reactive. Uh, and more difficult to recover as a result. So in conventional electrowinning, we have alternating planar anodes and cathodes that are placed into a static or slow moving electrolyte bath. So let's assume, for example, that that electrolyte is copper sulfate. So when the voltage is applied, the copper cations migrate towards the cathode uh, where they're plated as pure copper metal. As the metal builds up onto the cathode surface, the concentration of metal uh, in solution starts to decrease uh, and the plating will eventually slow down. So after a certain period of time, uh, the pure copper metal that's plated onto the cathode is harvested. Unfortunately, as the concentration of dissolved metal decreases, uh, what's called depletion zones will start to appear next to the cathode surface. These can be quite problematic, especially when there are impurities that are present in the solution. So impurities that are present in solution, uh, also in the depletion zone, uh, will start to plate onto the cathode depending on their uh, reductive potential uh, to copper for in this particular example. So if their reduction potential is close to copper, then they will start to appear on the cathode as well and result in an impure copper cathode, which is not what you want. Um, so for over 150 years, this process essentially remained unchanged. Um, and it wasn't until the early 1990s when a company called Electrometals, now EMU Corporation, uh, reinvented electrowinning uh, with what's known as the EMU cell. Now EMU is really just a clever acronym which stands for Electrometals Electrowinning and it's now become a very established brand in the industry uh, and it's now the name of our company, EMU Corporation. Now the EMU cell is an advanced electrowinning technology that uses a cylindrical electrowinning cell with the cathode in the exterior and a cylindrical anode that runs through the center of the cell and we pump the electrolyte through the cell at a very high velocity. What that allows us to do is increase the mass transfer in the cell and we're continuously presenting fresh cations to the cathode surface so that we're not as susceptible to impurities as in conventional electrowinning. So what this allows us to do is even with low concentration solutions or high impurities, we can still uh, 
produce a high purity copper or silver uh, metal product, uh, which is of much higher purity and much higher value. Um, so pushing the limits even further, we've the technology has continued to evolve. Uh, we've actually uh, developed a, um, a high surface area cathode, which allows us to get to even lower levels of, of metal in solution uh, while achieving the same purity. Um, and in, in the case of our three-dimensional cathode, or our high surface area cathode, we can actually recover metals down to the part per million level, which is simply not possible with conventional electrowinning. So really, you can see emu cells have expanded the applicability of electrowinning beyond uh, conventional metal refining applications, and we're now working in uh, applications such as uh, recycling, waste and wastewater treatment, uh, and even into the high-tech sector uh, like semiconductors. And this is all because of the design of the cell, which allows us to, to use electrowinning in really unique and novel ways. So that's all for now. Uh, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and share it. Um, and also feel free to leave comments. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. And visit our website, www.emu.com. That's E-M-E-W.com. Thank you.